Mums and dads could be slapped with a fine if they allow their pesky kids to roam the streets after they've been excluded from school. The new laws, which come into force this week, are intended to make parents take responsibility for their child's behaviour. Five's Jane Dougal reports. The calm before the storm. Not all pupils have started back yet, but when they do, there'll be some new rules in and out of school. No excuses, we're going back to school. Policing truancy is one thing, but when children have been excluded from school, it's difficult to keep them off the streets. The government set out guidelines to do just that. Now, parents of badly behaved children have to sign a contract with the school. If it's broken, the child's excluded. They also have to supervise children during that exclusion. If they don't, parents get a £50 fine, which could rise to £1,000 if it's not paid. We tried Seven-year-old Tade's been excluded several times. His mum has to work and says supervision isn't feasible. I could not just, you know, not turn up to work. And um, I didn't know where to leave Tade. Uh, there was no help coming from anywhere with regards to managing Tade's behaviour. So I found it extremely difficult. These new rules are ultimately to assist teachers. So do they like them? They're only addressing a tiny minority of pupils, pupils who've been excluded and whose parents aren't taking appropriate responsibility for them during the time that they are excluded, pupils whose parents aren't working alongside the school to make sure that any behavioural issues are resolved. So in principle, yes, I think it's a good thing. The problem is exclusion's been seen as a holiday for kids. Now, with fines and supervision, it's hoped parents will make sure it is a punishment. Jane Dougal, 5 News. And later in the programme, we'll be hearing what parenting groups make of the idea of fining mums and dads over their kids' behaviour. It's quarter past seven. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come. We're going to be live on the red carpet at the London premiere of Atonement, starring Keira Knightley. And Life in the Fast Lane, why rock stars are more likely to suffer a premature death. Now, what do you make of the idea of punishing parents who let their kids run riot after they've been excluded from school? As we were hearing earlier, the laws which come into force this week could see mums and dads being fined up to a thousand pounds. Well, Cathy Evans is a mum who works at the Children's Society. She's with me here. Steve Masters is from the parenting website UK Parents Lounge. Cathy, to you first. I understand you don't think it's such a good idea. Well, I think uh, in some senses it's taking a sledgehammer to crack a nut. And, and the key issue with truancy and, and problems at school is that what we want for all children is to be having the positive experience, the learning experience that will set them up for life. If that's going wrong, then the critical question really is to say how do we re-engage that young person yeah. with school, with learning. And you would say not by attacking the parents, presumably? Uh, uh, I think when we try to ask those questions, sometimes we do find there are problems at home and that the parents aren't really supporting inadequately uh, okay. uh, th their family. There are ways of responding to that, but I think uh, heavy fines may, may cripple a family without tackling the problem. Fair point, Steve, or not? Uh, yeah, I, I agree generally. I think that uh, you have to tackle the underlying problems of, of the social difficulties that cause these kids to leave school. And, and we all know about the educational uh, problems that we're having with the statistics in this country, but you have to have punitive measures. I don't agree with a one-size-fits-all punitive approach, but you have to have a line at which you draw uh, a level. And, and the discussion about what's been, uh, what's been enforced today is uh, punishment for parents who disregard um, a, a certain level of procedures after they've had plenty of opportunity to actually abide by various social rules. Yeah, that's the point, isn't it? I mean, if the parents don't get it right, how can the kids? Well, we, we want to keep the focus on the, on the children and if what's not happening is the right response to that child's problems, then of course we need to consider a wide range of actions. I think what we've really got to ask is how effective is it to use an order on a family and a set of parents who maybe are failing for whatever reason. And yes. there may be complex reasons for that. Not fair then, Steve, possibly, quite possibly not fair on those parents. What, the punishment? Yes, absolutely. If you, if you hit them with a fine, you just makes it the situation worse for them. 
the black and white approach to it is yes if you give somebody a financial punishment then it doesn't look fair on the surface but if that parent is not regarding their child with, in, in a correct parental way I mean they are responsible ultimately for the way those children grow up and the way they behave and there has to be a line that you draw at which the parents are told you are now responsible and there has to be punishment. I have to say though that I don't think financial punishment is the only measure. I would advocate some kind of um, community service okay. possibly. Final word Cathy? I, I think that setting up those kind of tensions between a child and parent where there are obviously already problems can only make things worse. What we really got to do is actually get that child back into school by any means possible. Okay good debate. Cathy here in the studio. Steve down the line at Westminster. Thank you both very much indeed. And let us know what you think. Our email address is on the screen now. As a wheelchair user, I understand you don't think it's such a good idea. Well, I think uh, in some senses it's taking a sledgehammer to crack a nut. And, and the key issue with truancy and, and problems at school is that what we want for all children is to be having the positive experience, the learning experience that will set them up for life. If that's going wrong, then the critical question really is to say how do we re-engage that young person yeah. with school, with learning. And you would say not by attacking the parents, presumably. Uh, I think when we try to ask those questions, sometimes we do find there are problems at home and that the parents aren't really supporting inadequately okay. uh, their family. There are ways of responding to that.